this caused me to just think that anyone that was sitting there in that room uh, may just think that that is places where they can go. Some of the things that you said there take me back, like yeah. similar situation. Yeah. And it helps everybody, so it's nice to get into a group and share, their, share your stories. I wish I had been stronger with the relationship I was in. Workshops aimed at raising awareness about domestic abuse and sexual violence to help women better understand risks and recognise signs of abuse and plan protective strategies to avoid or exit abusive relationships. I'm Callum and I'm an intern at Bernardo's through an internship with Finland University. My role of the project was to help out with all the uh, digital stuff, so the PowerPoints, the making of the booklets and CDs for the women and basically just helping out with whatever I could and I also helped present some of the uh, workshops for some of the women. The main objectives were to help women with learning difficulties or learning disabilities to identify what's a good and what's a bad relationship, learn about it and understand so that they can keep themselves safe because that was the main... Uh, it wasn't meant to be a counselling service or anything like that, it was a workshop to help women learn about what's good and what's bad and to empower them to know what to do in the future if they happen to be in a bad relationship. Yeah, is that OK? But really what we want to do today and next week, because I hope you're going to come back, we want to tell you a story. Did people hear the song when you came in? Sort of we were talking about Amy Winehouse. Do people know Valerie, the yeah. song? Yeah. People like Amy Winehouse? Yeah. We want to tell you a story today about Valerie and some of the relationships that Valerie has had in her life when she was little and then when she grew up and she was a woman. And then we want to hear what you think about Valerie's relationships and the choices that Valerie's made in her life and what you We think came up with a story a about a girl called Valerie which has been used through dolls. The main purpose was to uh, help the women understand different situations through a third party, through a fictional person to see if they could relate with it and make it less personal but also helped them to understand a real-life situation. And it started from as she was a child and followed Valerie throughout her life through various relationships, good and bad, and we hoped that we'd be able to find what the women would think she would be feeling about each situation and what advice they could give them, and then hoped to, that they could then apply it to their own lives. And we also used uh, the song Valerie by Amy Winehouse to help further elicit the memories of the workshop. We found that music can be a good help for them to remember and uh, we help, had the women choose a certain track each so that they could get a CD at the end which would help them remember the workshop and help them feel empowered. And Valerie would be the first single on the track to help them remind them of the story and what they've learnt. So Valerie was born in Sunderland and her mum works, she's got a mum, she's got a dad and her mum works as a cleaner and her dad works as a bus driver. This is when she was little. And she's got an older brother, and her older brother's called Jimmy, and they all live in Sunderland. Barry was very poorly when she was little, when she was a baby, and she was a toddler, and she had to spend lots We've of time. We've done four workshops, uh, three in centres. Uh, the centres are skills for people in Deerbreak, and it's been in partnership with Sunderland University and uh, Northumbria Place as well. My name's Kevin Payden, and I'm Principal Lecturer in Psychology at the University of Sunderland Department of Psychology. Um, I've been here this morning to um, officially give out certificates on behalf of the university, because we're working with Bernardo's on this project. So I give, like, certificates to recognise people's achievements. But as I've sat in this morning, I found it very interesting to listen to, like, the participants of the programme and what they've got out of the programme. It relates to a lot of things that we're very interested in, in the psychology department. To put psychology jargon on it, it's about psychological well-being. When I was sitting listening this morning, I was thinking, this is really, to me, very, a, a very exciting programme because it's about helping people take control of their lives and building that confidence and self-esteem. So to me, it's a, big, it's, it's a really important programme. It's about happiness, it's about fulfilling yourself as a person, which is what psychological well-being is about. I think the good feedback that I've had is that all of the women enjoyed it. Uh, they've all really said that it's one of the best workshops they've had and it's been really good to see them smile and seem generally happy at the end of it. But also a lot of women have vocally uh, said to us that they've learnt a lot and that they feel like this could help them in the future and some of them said that it would help them in current relationships and 
it feels really good to hear that from them because it, it, you can see it in the eyes that they really did enjoy it. Workshops aimed at raising awareness about domestic abuse and sexual violence to help women better understand risks and recognise signs of abuse. 